Hi there. Welcome back to Mill Creek Church, the place where you belong. We are so thankful that you came out and chose to worship with us. We're currently doing our Wednesday night word of encouragement. If you'd like to find out more information about Mill Creek Church, you can visit us on the web at millcreekbaptist.online or join our Facebook group that you will see displayed on the screen. And if you would like to know more about Mill Creek Church, please feel free to fill out our Connect Plus card that will be linked in the description below and someone from our church will be reaching out to you shortly. Today's reading comes from Psalm 100. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful singing. Know that the Lord Himself is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting and His faithfulness to all generations. Gratitude is an act of active worship. Today I just want to take a moment and reflect on how grateful I am to be able to serve where God has called me. When it comes to gratitude, Psalm 118.24 is often quoted. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. But is it quoted so often that we have become overly familiar with such an integral truth? God created and ordained today, right now, this very moment. And He did so with a purpose in mind. And I truly believe that one of those reasons is that so that in every moment we have the privilege of being able to turn our hearts and minds to Him with gratitude as our active worship. The writer of Hebrews puts it this way, Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. As Christians, we have received an eternal kingdom as joint heirs with our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we should be filled with gratitude, if for no other reason than this. And that gratitude is the coal that stokes the fires of gospel service. I hope you can join with me in saying, I serve God out of gratitude in my heart because He ransomed me when I wasn't worth saving. And it's in moments like these that gratitude is an easy act of worship. But what about when things aren't so great? The Bible tells us to give thanks in all circumstances. Is that just some pithy verse meant for pastors to quote when they have nothing else to say? Certainly not. We're able to comfort others with the truth of God's Word, that He is good and His steadfast love endures forever. Circumstances may not always be favorable, but God is always good. There have been times in my ministry where the leadership and I have butted heads where a member and I disagreed, or where the votes may not have always been favorable. But that does not negate the truth that God is always good. My gratitude in those situations is not for the disagreement or the understanding, but instead it is that God has entrusted the church with many members, each with their own calling and each with their own gift. Each one of us functions as a check or balance to make the whole of us dig deeper, make us search harder, make us dive into the depths of the riches of God's Word. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So I would humbly ask that you join with me today, wherever you are, whatever you might be doing, to pause and begin to ponder what you are thankful for. What you will find is that as you reflect on the goodness of God and how He writes His story through our stories, he is working all things together for our good and His glory. He is good. And His steadfast love endures forever. That is truth. He gave Himself for you and for me so that we could be reconciled to God. Jesus, I am eternally grateful. And when you find yourself grateful, you will find that your joy is full and service alongside your brothers and sisters in Christ is easy. We are joined together with Jesus, and our labor will never be in vain.